Good evening, you pieces it's of donkey doo doo. Take ass Welcome and to bubble gum, and I am all out of gum. Now as I- How dare you to fucking interrupt me, you fucking asshole. Now as I was saying. Good evening, you pieces of donkey doo doo. Welcome to Stronky Tonky's super cool doom stream. We are still in 2004, and are about to do some kind of weird TC. Some comments said that it was pretty unbalanced. So prepare for weird ass shit, as Stronky may fail miserably while playing this mod. Now let's chew ass, and kick bubblegum while being all out of ass, because in space, on Farbas, Dimos, Mars, or even a hell invaded earth, there is not a lot of ass to find, except for that Cybergman booty though. <coughs> Good evening. Damn, he said Cyberdemon, not Cyberdemon. That was meant to be different, oh well. <coughs> I am still feeling pretty sick. Not good, but we are gonna do Chosen. Which is some kind of weird TC that is just weird. Just weird. That's all I can think of describing this. But it's like, I don't know, the comments were mixed. So I'm curious see where this is going to <laughs> thank you I always like screwing around with the freaking <coughs> thing uh, chosen should grab the game I hope Dermter. Oh my god, it's a chick. I'm not sure of the game now. The game is probably not showing up for you. Amazing. There we go. Finally, let's actually wait for the screen to go back to the one so yeah, you can see like, oh, half naked chick. <coughs> <coughs> now, uh, difficulty is selected in game, apparently. So we can just choose a random difficulty, I guess. If you haven't already, please enter the Controls menu and configure dialogue Advanced key. This key is used to Oh my god, that is Hold on Ah, here we go. That's much better oh, That's too small Ah, default scale. There we go Yeah what we get gotta use that default scale enter the controls menu and configure dialogue key this key is used to advance the text when you are done reading it some dialogue can be bypassed by hitting the use key press the advanced dialogue key when ready thank you and enjoy chosen okay hey catalyst dragon welcome how you doing Um, let's freaking chosen advanced dialogue. I'll put that on E, I guess. <coughs> okay, we are in some kind of Egyptian temple. Kissa knelt before the statue of Seth to begin her prayer. No sooner had she started when a powerful wind carrying with it the cruel dust of the desert blew through the temple like a storm as Kissa raised her arms to protect herself from the blasting sand and debris one of the torches were extinguished until none remained 
leaving the temple in inky blackness. <coughs> I'm sadly still a bit sick. Blech. I don't know how long this is gonna be, sadly enough. Suddenly, there was an eerie flicker of light and the torches relit. Lowering her arms, Kissa's gaze fell upon an a derision floating in the air before her. Instantly, she recognized it as the head of Seth. The apparition opened its mouth to speak. <coughs> oh my god, that animation. My child, do not be afraid. I, the great Seth, came before you and humbly throw myself upon your mercy. Thank you very much. I hope I will. I've been sick for like two weeks now. My tonsils were infected last week. I got rid of that, but now I'm like super... Like... Uh, just a big cold. Me, my lord, your greatness, what can one such as I do for you? <clears throat> yeah, Seth was definitely uh, an evil god. The time grows derelict. So I speak in haste. <coughs> or was it a par P? Apparently it was a P. I thought it was a D. The serpent god, a poof, is has created a vile monster through which he hopes to crush this very world from within. The creature named... <coughs> what? Eurace... Eureus... Is... Eureus has been grafted from pure obsidian and will become indestructible should I cross the threshold into the mortal world. Damn. <sighs> Only while it remains within the underworld can it be stopped. We have tried all in our power, but our efforts to stop it have been in vain. Apophis has bestowed upon Eurasus his ability to charm both man and god, to which even I am not immune. The, through this power, Eurasus has possessed the armies of Anubis, Isis, and Sekhmet. Now that he has these armies under his thrall, Eurasus will quickly march upon your world and destroy it. The creature must be stopped. I'm not sure if uh, <coughs> if Catalyst Dragon <coughs> had enough coins for the uh, <coughs> boss battle yet, because you need to spend a hundred coins for that. But even a hundred coins is very easy to get once you just watch long enough and stuff like that. Although I'm not sure. It's uh, different ranks. Oh, he did start it. And did he not survive? What? That is bullshit. That's very unlucky. Wow. I'm very sorry to hear that. Yeah, there's a small chance that you don't survive the boss battle. Sad to see it happen in the first try. I'm very sorry for that. Um, <clears throat> but my lord, I am at a loss. How can I be excreted to succeed where the efforts of the mightiest gods have been thwarted? What I said unto you holds the key. Your races can charm man and god alike. Only a woman can remain unaffected in the presence of your races. Your real Rhesus. That is why I have chosen you, my loyal servant, to bear this heavy burden. If you do not accept and succeed, all shall perish. Your faith in me is not misplaced. Mighty Seth, I shall not fail you. 
Oh my. <laughs> okay, what's this? Do we have... Oh. We have, like, different HUD here? Man, I can barely make anything out of that. 59... When... <coughs> That's a very shitty, uh... Font they got here. Oh well, let's actually save so we don't have to do all the dialogue. Hmm. Okay. Choose your difficulty. Uh. <coughs> What difficulty is what? Normal. Hard. Easy. Very easy. <coughs> I guess very hard is nightmare. <coughs> uh. Actually, I haven't played Doom 2, so I'm curious. What's it about? Well, this is actually a mod for Doom 2. Yeah. This is, like, not... Le like, totally not like Doom. Or Doom 2. This is a mod. This is, like, totally modded. This is, like... Doom is in space uh, with, like, demons. And this is, like, Egypt. This is, like, a big mod. Okay, what we got? Well, we got things here. Uh oh, the hell are these things? Oh my god, this bitch dies quickly. What the hell? Does her avatar in the other thing change now? Oh wow, this is like a lot of damage. And I have a limited amount of axes to throw. What the hell? This is pretty shitty. I mean, it's... I do like how they burn in the lava. And we die. What the hell? So far, this does not feel very balanced. Can we try a different difficulty, maybe? This seems like bullshit. What if we go on easy for a change? Maybe there's gonna be less bullshit. Man, what the hell? It doesn't feel satisfying to hit these at all. You call this easy? What the hell is this? You're, I mean, they're forcing me to hit these flying enemies with these slow projectiles. I mean, it's cool that all the axes get on the floor, but I don't pick. I can't pick them up anymore. That's kind of stupid. Okay, what's this? Okay, we cannot go in there. Yeah, this is like freaking Mass Mouth 2 levels of weird so far. And this is a very weird mod. The music is interesting. Like, the super interesting. Also, I have the volume for you guys. Maybe I should put a little bit higher. Oh, we opened the chamber. How do I even get over there? <clears throat> like, if it's too steep to... What the hell is... Wow. The lava is even attacking me. Wow. Oh, wait. Here's a chamber we can enter. I think the sounds are, like, very quiet for you guys. Let me just... 
I mean, I got pretty loud. Maybe over here, I'd... Well, that should not be it. It's all like Doom meets Power Slave kind of crossover. Hoping for it's more like Doom meets Zero Sam and Super Schmeh. <laughs> it's very weird. <coughs> okay, well, we got him. We get the throwing axe. The music is like very quiet. Maybe I gotta put the music louder at least. Wait, why is my... My music is stopping when I alt-tab. That's not supposed to... Oh, maybe it's starting on a different GZ Doom version now. Maybe that's why my sounds are all screwed up. Okay, that's the problem here. Maybe that's better. There we go, that's probably a lot better. So what are these? Protection. Sound Eye of Horus. This needs the Red Scarab. Okay, interesting. I do not like this weapon at all. This weapon is pretty shitty. Ah! Damn it, we're getting wrecked. Oh my god. I can't believe this is Doom. Oh fuck. I thought that looked like a trap room. Ah, we dead. And that's easy. Are you kidding me? That's easy. Oh my god. Oh well, we can smash pottery. That's great technology. Wait. Ow. Got hit by the flames again. Damn pottery physics. Uh, I guess we go into this chamber now. Oh. Oh well, it, wait, it's useless to attack from here. Because, uh, yeah, it's too far away. It's like sometimes it doesn't do damage when I hit them. Can he, like, block my shots? Is that what he's doing? Uh oh. Yeah, okay. Ah! Oh my god. Stop moaning, you bitch. Oh my god, is that like- like we could not kill those things! Guess we gotta save before every room for freaking traps. Throwing your axe looks like clunkiest of 2D platforming weapons combined with the 3D idea of 3D monster graphics. It looks like spaghetti and just doesn't feel satisfying to all the monsters. Or to say fatter, it would be more satisfying than missing them by a millimeter because <laughs> your thin, clunky, sorry, that kind of weapons don't put me on this point. Ah. Well, they're freaking deadly, so what? This is the wrong one as well. Ah, oh, that's the right one. 
Sound Eye of okay, whatever. Blue Scarabood. <coughs> <coughs> I mean, what? Did you hear that? Like, sometimes I just miss them. It's just weird ass shit. Oh well. We are a little bit higher now. I mean, I do like the level design. The level design I really like. Look, look at that! That hit was like, it did nothing. Well, of course, we are running on a way more modern source. Ow, oh, stop moaning! Just listen to her moan, like, ah! Look at that! Can I have your bow and arrow, please? That might be a more sufficient weapon. Shooting splinters, you should try and use the melee weapon instead. Really, is that a good melee weapon? Because usually in do melee weapons are very shitty. I shall try the melee weapon. It's not something I'd usually do in Doom. Oh, cool. We also got a bow and arrow. Cool. Okay, let's also try the melee. Oh wow, that is actually very effective. Holy crap. Thank you so much for that tip. I would never affect, expect uh, a melee weapon to be good in Doom. <coughs> that is actually rather effective. Look at that. <coughs> it is actually amazingly better. <laughs> Who would have thought that? Look at that! Look at that range! Look at that range! That's amazing! Oh, now we can't hit him because he uses his shield. Ah! And she dies! Well, damn it. I can barely even... Like, the, the numbers are so unreadable. It says 32 on the right and... 72? Is that my health? That's 72? <laughs> it's very hard to read. I do like the idea that the enemy can block shots. That's pretty cool. <laughs> what? That was not even the normal death sound of the, of the, of the woman. Ah. Uh. Damn, yeah, that shield is just very strong. But it's a cool idea to have an enemy with a shield he can put up. Although it does definitely take the flow out of the game. And then he hits me. Yeah, Hexen had enemies with shields as well. But this is definitely more slow paced when it comes to combat, it seems. Oh, what's this? The blue scarab? Yeah. Damn, the melee is amazing. Like, holy crap. Thank you so much again for... For reminding me, like, hey, maybe you should try melee. Yeah, that's actually a very good idea. Wait, is the secret we unlock? Are we on 11 health now? Crap. You want yellow. Mm. Um, where were the freaking blue scarab doors? Because I know they were somewhere, but I totally forgot where exactly they were. Oh, did we miss this area? No, actually, we didn't. I 
freak out of there. Damn it. Uh, why does Humble Bundle keep spamming my email lately? <coughs> Holy crap, I see something there. That might be a secret. Oh. What did we do? What did I open? Ah, what did I do? Was, did I open that? <laughs> Eight health? <coughs> oh shit. I, uh, I guess I, I gotta go here. <coughs> Damn it. Ah! Ah! And it takes us to a place I've already been at. Ah, amazing. <coughs> Thank you for wasting my time, game. Oh, hey, there's the thing we opened. Breath of Life. No, I'm pretty sure that was an ank. I also have no idea what the hell that did. Because it doesn't seem like I got much health out of it. I have like 28. Something unreadable. Ow. Ow. Oh. Yeah, let's just... Let's just... 20 health, 28 health. That is amazing. Just crouch. It was like a... Like... So much, so much health we got from that breath of life thing. It's it's amazing. It's remarkable. Oh, here's a thing. I for I don't even know what they are. Are they like bits of health? Why do the pots not give me anything? It is here to be destroyed. Arrow quiver. Oh, we actually got an item from it. Oh my god, we actually do get stuff. Uh oh. Die! Uh oh. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm 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 very glad the devs were like, let's increase the range on the melee weapon because that's actually something that is genuinely needed. Now I know this was early modding, but it sucks I cannot hold my uh, bow and arrow, I think. I think if you hold it, it will just keep shooting, yeah. <coughs> it would be cool if it would have been like in Ghoul's Forest. 78 or 98, yeah, I... <coughs> I can also not see if that's a 7 or a 9. It is absolutely atrocious to read. I really wonder how they like who made this music and how they made it. It's very unique. Hopefully you won't easily find something like this anywhere. Definitely very atmospherical. Oh, we got some heals. Some slopes. Um, I guess we go over here. Sixty eight. Yeah, that kind of looks like sixty eight. Well, what have I missed now? Oh. Oh, I need the green scout. What? Then when the where do I put the red one? Oh boy. Was there a <coughs> Was there a spot to put the red one in cuz Ah! No! 
Oh, was it over here, I think? I think it was over here, yeah. <coughs> well, there we get the green one, so now we can go to the top. It's a long way to the top. Hey, the trap didn't activate this time. That's weird. So we've climbed this pyramid about five times now. Hey, what's that? Ooh. That looks like a secret. How do I get on there? I guess we need to open that somehow, unless we... Uh, okay, never mind it. <clears throat> Funny how the key uh, disappears from your inventory after using the key. That's a very Duke Nukem thing. They look very feminine, those archers, yet they make a hell like sound. <coughs> hey, holy guac. Something somewhere happened. Oh no. These things are so annoying. Ah! Bullseye. Hmm. I mean, it is a good thing for when you want to have a very big uh, <coughs> map. <coughs> uh, no, this is... I mean, it's an ancient Egypt, but... We're definitely no serious Sam. We are. We are Egyptian babe. Egyptian babe, babe raider, or something. She moans like crazy when she gets hurt. Here's her front, like on the left side of the screen. Yeah. So far, it's. Decent effort, but I don't know something just feels off Like maybe ah! <laughs> No intermission screen Egyptian boob raider So I guess my main issue is you just die too easily and this is on easy mode <clears throat> Staff power. Seth's wrath. This looks like a freaking. I, I don't even know. <clears throat> like it's good effort on the weapons and enemies, but it just feels a little bit. I don't know. And the damage you take is just absurd. Okay, that doesn't work. Here's the thing. Uh oh. <clears throat> hey. Uh, what the fuck? Oh no! <laughs> Say what? I do like this weapon. Oh. This weapon reminds me of uh, a certain weapon. I like that. That was cool. <coughs> I 
Yeah, <laughs> no bra visible on the back. Ah, oh, no, okay. Green scarab, okay. <coughs> I like this. Like the stuff appearing out of the floor, that's cool. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, cool ideas. Uh, these enemy bosses were very cool. It's just, <clears throat> you take damage so easily. Which I find to be sexist, because only because you're a woman you, you die e more easily. What kind of sexist behavior design is that? I should actually not waste ammo of this. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> hmm. I could have made physical towers like these, but okay. And big points for the melee being actually good. What is the melee weapon even? It looks like a staff kind of thing. <clears throat> Ooh, we got more staff power. <laughs> Brush trap not modeled. Most of the bands loading for on the same fact, but Yeah. I mean I do like that attack. Oh what the fuck is <gasps> Oh no. Kill that shit! Ah fuck you. Weapon is badass. The staff I meant, not the bow and arrow. Uh, how do I kill these fuckers? Just one by one. Oh, there's one floating. <coughs> hey, Loveless, what's up, man? How you doing? Nice to see you, buddy. Have you ever played this wad, this TC? <laughs> it's super weird, man. It's another weapon taken from Hexen. But with different sprite. I mean, that could easily be possible you know quick lunch Get called in to work early ah oh, damn so we're gonna hang out you haven't played any TC's at all okay I mean this is definitely this comes close to freaking uh, mass mouth too <laughs> I mean it's it has fair effort you know the weapons the enemies it's just you take so much damage it just feels a bit weird with the art, but uh, you know, it's I can appreciate what they've done here. And actually, good melee with some range. Yeah, checks quests when he was a boy. It was great. <laughs> Checks quest. I gotta get around playing that. I've tried it a few times. It worked. And it had its, its charm, definitely. It's, there's just something that bothers me about the atmosphere in this in this mod. Maybe it's just the weird looking creepy woman. It's like <laughs> look how weird she looks. I don't know. Not trying to hate. It's just something is very weird about this. Also, these flying things can fuck off. They're gonna give me all kinds of projectile based weapons and... <clears throat> I need to uh, shoot stuff in the air. Uh, 
Oh, crap, that was time-based. <coughs> Find the chop bow and floating bow stream. Yeah, that is, uh, that's just a widescreen issue. Widescreen wasn't that common back in the day, so... That's why it gets chopped off. Oh, can we make this? What? Oh, the red scarab. Oh crap, how do I... <gasps> no, crap! Uh... <coughs> I'm thinking of it. I'd like to replay Chex Quest. I'm worried about it being terrible and my nostalgia ruined. That happens with a lot of games. Fuck. <laughs> I guess I gotta... Yeah, I gotta quickly grab the thing. I just gotta quickly grab it. Can I activate the switches by throwing... No. Just gotta go fast. I will break this before... I said I will break this before... There we go. <laughs> hey, trans! Welcome, you're you're late, trans. How you doing? You've been missing the story content of this mod. Oh yeah, did I get it in their perfect order? Oh, never mind. Oh, maybe I did because they all went down at the same time. Hmm. You're sick as fuck. See, I did make you sick, trans. Okay, loveless. See you later, man. Thanks for stopping by. Have a have good luck at work, man. Hang in there. <laughs> Scarab scepter. I wonder what this does. Oh boy, that looks like a freaking heretic bomb gun. Or was that heretic? That was heretic, right? <laughs> Holy crap! Officer D with a three people host. Thank you, man. Don't mind the weird looking atmosphere in this mod. How you all doing, buddies? Spread this dead germs of 10,000 kilometers of distance. <coughs> That's the one, the fire mace. Yeah, yeah, so we got this thing that's the best melee weapon ever. No, no, I mean, it's very good, legit, like I'm being genuinely honest here. There's the shitty throwing axes. <coughs> I do like how they stick, stick in the floor. Bow and arrow. And we got this thing, this is also from freaking Hexen. And now we get this. Pretty cool. Strife. Uh, is it? I'm not sure. About to fall asleep like an old man does. You're not an old man, you're a young man. You're a young man with a... With... I don't know, I don't know where I was going with, but... You're a young man! But I forgot to fall asleep, then have a good night of sleep, buddy. <laughs> so, I got the red thing, put it in there. Now I can find the green one. Now these guys are total pushovers. They got throwing axes and they use it as melee, they're not even throwing it. <laughs> Maybe they can't, they can't. 
press F to pay respects. Good one too in chat. All right, have a good one, man. Thank you for the host again. It's much appreciated. Ah, oh, fuck! I didn't save. I gotta play some Crisis as well. <coughs> Officer D was playing Crisis all day long. Because, so you know he's he has a good computer because he can run Crisis. Isn't it funny? I think these guys may have a custom AI. It doesn't look like they're zigzagging. <coughs> Maybe they are actually. Maybe they do zigzag. I'm over here. I think they do zigzag actually. I'll take it back. They do zigzag. <laughs> Crisis is good. Might play Crisis when you can make your sis cry. Does that for change the AI? One of the patterns would have been nearly impossible if not actually so. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh. If it wasn't obvious yet, you can die pretty easily in this game mod. <sighs> this is an easy, by the way. We're playing on easy. In case this wasn't hard enough for you. Will oh, this guy please just die? God, he's just blocking my shots. What an ass! Man, that gore effect. This is some new brutal doom shit. Look at the blood. Look at it. It's growing. The blood is growing. Oh my god, it's going all the way to the freaking ceiling. <coughs> there needs to be more, more brutal blood, more freaking brutal doom. See, brutal doom doesn't have blood that crawls up to the freaking ceiling height. That's what I'm talking about. That's how I want my gore all over the freaking wall, as much as possible. <laughs> Baby Ripper, Shadow Warrior. <laughs> This is, uh, yeah, this is map 3. Oh damn, look at that fast traveling lava there. Yep, it is dripping up the wall. Brutal, I'd say. So that's why I saw all these stripes. I thought it was just weird textures when I saw them, but it's just literally blood is just crawling up the freaking walls. Look. <sighs> So why would they use that Shadow Warrior death sound for a female archer, or at least a female looking archer? I'm not trying to assume her gender. It's gender.
Yeah, but it doesn't fit well with the archer. It's like, wouldn't you want to use a more feminine voice? Because she looks rather female. <clears throat> Again, not trying to assume her gender, but you know. Yay! Okay, so the lava is going pretty slow over here, but it's very fast on the minimap. Oh, now it's slow. <coughs> that is interesting. It's slow. Now it just looks. I guess it just looks as if it's very fast. I don't know. It just looks as if it's going super fast. Maybe it's just my eyes. Uh, I have no idea, actually. I did not have a proper look at the archers. Kissa had once again overcome Eurasia's slaves, but she now felt unsure about what to do next. Fate had drawn her to this place. She felt certain she should not uh, abort the boat, but knew not where it would take her. She should go aboard the boat, sorry, but not where it would take her. Cautiously, she boarded, sensing Kissa's need for guidance. Seth once again appeared before her. <clears throat> you have done well, little one. Be wary, though. Eurasus is aware of your passage to the underworld and knows of your quest. All whom Eurasus controls have now been commanded to strike you down. Until you have been dealt with. Eurasus will remain within the confines of its temple. The ship will take you to that unholy place, and there you must destroy Eurasus. Wait, what? Little white mouse wad? Uh, this is the creator? <coughs> or something like that. I will succeed, great one. For the sake of all, you must. Be on your guard, child. She's a child? Man, she has pretty big breasts for a child. And is pretty, like, like pretty hot. Uh, like, she, she's pretty tall for a child as well. That's crazy. It's not good to make a child look like that and have, have her properly cro clothed, damn it. <coughs> Eurasus has sent its Isis warriors to us. <laughs> Isis warriors to hold your... I know it's, you know, of the... of Isis who, who was like... Uh, like a mythological character as well, but you know, obviously, we're talking about Isis warriors now in 2018. Obviously, we're gonna think about other kinds of Isis warriors, especially because we're in the desert as well. I think I'll climb aboard. Uh, Martin Garrick's official. Thank you so much for that follow. That is very much appreciated. <laughs> Goddess of Jihad. <laughs> oh, did I miss any text? Oh no. So uh, welcome. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. <coughs> Damn. <coughs> cool. <laughs> I'm very glad you're enjoying the stream, buddy. Oh damn! Look at the Look at this! Oh, we got a boat ride. I mean, this is actually a breath of fresh air, to be honest. <laughs> I didn't know the the Nile was made out of lava, though. Assuming we're in Egypt, and like the Nile is probably the only river in whole of Egypt, so. Ah! What the f- uh, Shh! Uh, These 
things just kill you too easily. Ugh. Eh. Have some sticks. Bitches love sticks. Yeah, they definitely got boobs as well. They look very feminine. At least they have like a female scream. It's a uh, river of Need stick, lava. Got stick back. Yeah, I got stick. Definitely not blood. No, I was one of ten plagues now turned to you blood. You are some fuck. Yeah, it looks like it looks like lava, but maybe it's supposed to be blood. I don't know. Guess I just dispatched the final Isis warrior sent to stop her when a brief gust blew her back. Expecting Seth, guess I was set off guard when a creature perched itself on the bow with a pull thud. Its two massive wings opened, revealing nothing like the Isis warrior she had fought. Uh oh. What a pretty little morsel you are. Perchance a midday snack? Not, not much else, I would say, though. So much trouble over so little a thing. Even the smallest scorpion can kill a man. Come closer, creature, and feel my sting. <clears throat> Spirited are we, no matter. My master grows impatient for your demise. I, sh I, the M Metron, <coughs> over Isis' army, aim to appease him with your head. First, though, I shall devour your delectable flesh. Shame for you, I only eat live prey. I wonder what modeling tool Lil White Mouse used back in 2004. In one evening, struck me in one evening <laughs> with the SADU and couldn't do it for you. <laughs> Destroy all the ISIS troops. <laughs> uh, you could probably find it in the README. Maybe it says which programs were used there. Others have tried and failed. Prepare to be united with your army to lay in my wake. Cool, we get another boss fight. Oh shit. Oh shit, Megasphere. Oh shit. You better die. Ah. Stupid feathers won't stop me. Yeah, burn. Racist temple. Oh yeah. Ah! Melted in lava, it says. So yeah, it's probably lava. <laughs> that one feather dance red rather not get caught in fearsome feathers. Did we one shot him? What the hell? Arrows are strong. I just wish I knew how many arrows I have, because it's very unreadable. Get out of my way! Right, there we go. Ah! Okay, that's a dick move. <coughs> really? Just nope, the bridge collapses, you die. Fuck you, player. Oh my god. That's just literal tri trial and error. Uh. What's up, flying thing? Check your shot. Oh, that's a better one. Yeah, I didn't even try that. And the dark jackal thing die. They make the same sound from Shadow where it does when it blows up. So these are the arch. I mean, they look very female. Definitely do have some kind of boobs going on.
So let's not climb this anymore. So maybe we're we gotta be very Oh. I don't know. You think it's jumpable? Oh, we got it. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> GZ Doom has stopped working. Wow. This is the first mod that makes my GZ Doom crash by going into a teleporter. <laughs> What's with my HUD? There we go. What? That takes, that takes me to the next level? Are you kidding me? I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to jump this then. What the hell? Is there anything? No. <gasps> Wait, why are we filling that with sand? Do you think that's the home of Sandy Peterson? Get it? <laughs> are these alive again? <coughs> Hello? Nope, no bosses this time. <laughs> Vacuum cleaner attachment. I don't even know what the hell I did. Fill the freaking corridor with sand, big deal. <laughs> What's this? Ooh. And now we don't one shot him. Cannot heal ourselves? Okay, that's weird. I thought we were low in health. <clears throat> um, oh, I forgot this one. Okay, we got the blue scarab. And now... Uh, I mean, I do like this level. It's nice and open. It reminds me of uh, freaking <coughs> Mount Erebus for some reason as well. Now I want to take a look here. Maybe there's something with that thing we filled with sand. I don't even know. Right, here we go. Whoa, what the f- That's pushing us out! What the hell? I have no idea what's happening here. This is some weird ass shit. It just blocks me. Okay, fuck that. <laughs> We're just gonna go. I mean, that was pretty obvious, okay, but still nicely made. Um, okay, that does not work. I thought maybe I could walk over this particle effect thing. Uh, oh, what? 
Okay, that's pretty cool. Ooh, we opened a thing. Ooh. Ah! Woof! Woof, just got out of that. Holy crap. Oh. I guess that's why I crashed the game, because it teleported us in a non-existent place. So probably now it would just work. Never mind, I've said nothing. I've absolutely said nothing at all. Okay. <clears throat> All right, next map six. Oh, already past halfway. Hmm, these are some ugly textures, all stretched. How does that thing look here? Hmm. Uh, this is ten maps, I believe. Ooh. That is secret. Oh my. <clears throat> Guess maybe the <coughs> candle was an indicator. Oh, lovely. Get sticked. Ooh, a nice tower case is being created. I do like that. Luden's cherry throat drops. I don't know what that is. Should get myself some uh, freaking anti coughing syrup. Look into the oh god damn it! I need to resize it again because it crashed and didn't save. <coughs> so I'm assuming it didn't. Look into my eyes, mortal. <coughs> well, it's a snake that's talking, so I should do more like a snakey voice, right? I actually do like the taste of the cough syrup. Look into my eyes, mortal! My gaze consumes your will! You cannot resist my power! You will obey! That's a good snake voice, right? Your powers have no control over me, monster. With Seth as my patron guard, you will fall before me. <laughs> you are very clever, mortal. Warrior to Seth, he was wise in selecting you. However, your feeble attempt and painful death will merely survive to mark the beginning of the destruction of your world. Nah. <laughs> like, mostly snakes sound like that in <coughs> cartoons and games. <coughs> they have like a high-pitched voice. Foul creation of Adolf Apophis. You may be lucky to live just long enough to realize that both I and the world will far outlast you. <laughs> Reminds me of an old Flash animator I used to watch called Odd Todd. What did he do? You just look it up. <coughs> look him up. <laughs> We shall see. Oh shit. I mean, another boss battle, that's cool. Foolish mortal! 
My obsidian scales were forged in the very fires of the underworld. Your weapons are useless against me. You cannot win. Let us finish this now. What? Suddenly it takes us to a different place. Okay. Well, I don't see a health bar now. Pretty sure we don't do any damage against him. Um, I mean, they do give us these. this ammo. <laughs> nope. Cool music. Just gotta figure out what we're supposed to do to kill this dude. He's over there now. Fuck, he's following me through the freaking corridors. <clears throat> uh, I mean, he said, like, my weapons are not damaging him. And so far I've gotten health bars. Red bosses. So it's like, yeah, I believe my weapons will not damage him. So then what do I do? How do I get them in the lava? Man, this guy doesn't die, only because he has a shield. <clears throat> See how quickly we die? Uh, I don't see any way of tossing him into the lava though. Yeah, sadly noticed that. I hate that. How do we fucking beat this? I know there's probably some kind of cryptic way, but it's like the game doesn't try to explain it. All I know, it gives us a lot of scarab power armor. <coughs> so I'm like, do I use this weapon, I guess? I don't know. Mm. 
There's nothing I can find. What do we do now? Fuck's sake, I hate these! Oh, for fuck's sake! Then I got it done, and nope. Does that work? Oh yeah! I mean, I like the idea of destroying the things, but it was just a bit, you know, hard to figure out. Like, only be by looking at the map, like, hey, that's a line def there that uh, can be interacted with. this one did this one as well what <coughs> oh my god no what am i missing something did i do all four of them already oh here's the one with some arrows. And now... Ah! Fuck. Ah! Oh! You bore me, mortal! I will kill you now myself and be done with it! Your blood will be nectar to my fangs. That is a taste you will never savor. You're welcome to die trying, though. <laughs> well, Police's minions are gone, but what do we do now? We can somehow damage him. Uh... 
the hell? Well, it looks like he's getting damaged by walking on the lava or something. Come on, walk over the lava, dim face. I'm not wanting to come anymore. Get on the freaking lava! <clears throat> well... Not doing anything anymore. Platforms he's standing on as have different uh, effects, <coughs> like that one. <coughs> and the one he's standing on as well. But it's not doing anything. He's not getting off the platform either. Oh, I gotta keep luring him on that one? Because now it came back up. Okay. Cool, okay. I guess that's what we gotta do. Just keep luring him onto the lava. For some reason it wasn't floating back up earlier. Sneaky snake. <clears throat> oh, why are you going that? Come over here. Piece of crap. There you go. Turn to the foul pits from whence you came, knowing you are defeated, hideous creature. Yeah, that's pretty cool. No, this cannot be. I have been tricked, vile mortal. I am undone. <coughs> With the races defeated. Seth returned Kissa to the temple. Her journey now in full circle. I am in your debt, little one. Should you need ever need a favor, you need but call upon me. Until we meet again, farewell. Yeah. <coughs> Not really having throat problems, just a lot of coughing. <coughs> like my throat isn't hurting. <laughs> what the? I would like to thank Nigel Rowan for his excellent P write of my script and those that tested my reviews. Thanks. Okay. Mouse. <laughs> okay. Does he do this with all this stuff? Also, I thought this was not a 10 maps. It's map 9. And we are. Stuck.
Oh, the freaking difficulty selection screen is map 10. Okay, that means we have completed this war. This, yeah, this war, this mod. Huh, chosen. Interesting, to say the least. Definitely unique. And, uh, ah, it was alright. It was pretty fun. Uh, I mean, it says 10, so I'll just do 10. Um, 10 maps. Uh, I see a little bug on my screen. And now you're a little dead bug on my screen. Kill confirmed. Was on the cutting edge of the Doom Hackery for years. Uh -huh. Chibi Rebellion. Oh, that one I know. That's actually something I really want to play. Um. <clears throat> yes, that was a bug kill. I killed one, like, it was on my screen, like a very tiny one, so I just squashed it. Um. <clears throat> Why do I want to raid this? I'd say a solid 8 out of 10. It's weird, you do take damage a bit easily, but there's definitely a lot of effort put into this. And, you know, yeah. cool boss fights, cool level design, a bit short, but that's not a real negative thing. So I'm gonna give it an 8, I do recommend this, give people a try, like I didn't think it was amazing or anything, with like fun gameplay, but yeah, it's a, it's a good, it's a good TC, <coughs> a good short TC. Good short TC set in Egypt. Set in Egypt uh, with a bit with a little storyline. Um, only only negative point is that you take damage. Pretty easily recommend playing the easier settings. <clears throat> okay. Cool. That was chosen.